welcome to your Mega News Roundup for January 17th, 2023. Coming to you from the Shadowrock ZX YouTube channel and the MMNetwork.com. Or should I be saying the Rockman X Dive News Roundup because yeah, we're just going to be recapping the last couple weeks of Dive and this week as well. The last couple weeks have been very filler heavy, but last week did see the debut of the Fantasia Comet weapon. Another limited weapon that's based on a dive armor, this time Dive Cross Mega Man EXE, if the Navi emblem didn't give it away. This one is about as crazy as the Ultimate Blast Buster, except this one is a launcher. It can pierce through terrain and barriers, and it has the ability to scatter more rounds that, well, pierces terrain. That's a common thing for a lot of these weapons lately. And boy does it tend to be broken. Balance? What balance? This upcoming week the Fantasia Comet banner will still be available to pull from and don't forget that you get a guaranteed S rank pull at 1, 3, and 5, 10 pulls. So if you have not pulled for it yet, there you go, you got one more week to do it. Given that we've already gotten a dive armor buster and launcher available, it follows that this may not be the last set of dive armor weapons we see. Other than that, the content from last week isn't that interesting, just a Network Guardian event rerun, some filler banners, and other small updates. The only other really notable thing has to do with Chapter 20. You may remember the last time we covered Dive that they are going to be releasing the stages for Chapter 20 in segments. And this is the first time they've ever done something like this, so they're really stretching out that ending. At first we got 20-1 and 20-2, and last week 20-3 got released. Now this upcoming week they are going to be releasing 20-4 and 20-5. That means only one more stage to go. That means there is a good chance that we're going to have all chapter 20 by February. And really who knows where the story is going to go from here, or if it just stops. As right now, Chapter 20 is just a glorified boss gauntlet with a lot of lore dumps in between. Seems like they're definitely wrapping up the story here. So it will be interesting to see what the future of Dive is going to look like after the 3rd anniversary, which is coming up this March. Well, I'll say this much Dive, at least you lasted longer than Crossover. <laughs> but hey, and another example that the game may be on its last legs, how about those dive armors? Oh, dive armors. Dive armors everywhere. There's dive armor weapons. We got dive armor Rico recently. And a bunch of other ones before that. Not too long in between each other either. And this week, we do have another one. And she is dive armor Iris. And something tells me she will be far from the last one we see in the near future. Anyway, Dive Armor Iris represents another common pattern with recent characters, and that is screen clearing. Yeah, we're not going to be chilling out with the screen clears anytime soon as we can see if her skills here. That being Halo Slash, which summons 12 enemy seeking energy blades around the area. And guess what? They can penetrate terrain! Isn't that awesome? And by the way, Iris doesn't take any damage while using this skill. Can't go about that one. Skill 2 then is Blinking Slash. Kind of taking a cue from another Iris and Colonel. She performs a quick dash and releases a Genmu at the end of it. I'm sorry, did I say a Genmu? I meant two Genmus because obviously this is a dive armor. You gotta have two. In PvP, this skill will automatically teleport to the location of your target. Kind of like Proto Man EXE and so on. Wonderful. And as of every skill lately, it obviously ignores terrain and you're invulnerable during the attack. What else is there really to say about Dive Armor Iris? I do like her design. It's very tasteful and cool at the same time. And it might be the closest we get to an Iris another alt. Except using the default design this time. Fun fact for you, this is the first Iris alt in a full year. The last one was Monster Hunter Iris in January of 2022. It's been longer than I thought. But then again, that also speaks to the fact that the last year or so has been a lot of filler content. Well anyway, since it looks like we're going to be getting dive armor after dive armor, I just hope they get around to the other Mega Man. 
namely Volnut, Geo, and heck, even Classic while we're at it. That way I can make a cool wallpaper of all the Dive Armor Mega Men. Maybe even update my fight stick art. If they can do that before this game actually does die, I would be happy enough. Because, yeah, that's kind of dive in a nutshell for most of its life. The game itself is eh, but the awesome artwork and characters that we're getting is what makes it all worth it in the end. Is that it? Uh, yeah, pretty much. We still got the rest of chapter 20 to go. There's a new collab coming up, and then we're going to have the third anniversary stuff in March. So, when we get to that, or the next screen clearing character comes out, we'll be back with more Mega Man right here on the Shadowrox EX YouTube channel. Make sure to also check out the mmnetwork.com for all sorts of articles and videos like this one on the Mega Man series. To end off, I would like to take this time to shout out all of our Shadowrox EX channel members, including SA class supporters, Criminal Imagination, Manga and Spazer, DA class supporters, Adrian Cauldron and Austin Buford, and our ultimate UH class supporters, Rico Syndrome and LML123. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting the channel, and we'll see you next time. Rock on.